The ballot judge issues ballots to voters and helps balance polling place statistics by accurately collecting and counting ballot receipts. Ballots are delivered to the polling place in shrink-wrapped packs of roughly 50 ballots. Before polls open, two judges must certify the number of ballot packs. Count the packs delivered to your polling place and record this number in the official certification form, Polling Place Ballots. This form is located in the ballot transfer case. Anytime a shrink-wrapped pack is opened, two judges must count the ballots in the pack. Record the number of counted ballots in each pack on the back of the official certification form, Polling Place Ballots. After counting, the two judges must initial the ballots before they can be issued to voters. Initial a large number of ballots to prepare for the morning rush. Pre-registered voters will have white ballot receipts and non-registered voters will have yellow ballot receipts. If a voter approaches you for a ballot and does not have a receipt, redirect the voter back to the appropriate table. Collect the receipt from the voter and point out the example on the demonstration sign showing how to properly fill in the boxes. Issue the voter an initial ballot. Number the receipts in the upper right corner 1 through 25 and clip them into separate piles. The number of white ballot receipts should match the total combined check-ins on all the poll pads. The number of yellow receipts should match both the number of completed voter registration applications and the number of completed pages on the non-registered roster. Your head judge will complete the hourly tracking sheet by comparing the total number of collected ballot receipts against the number of ballots cast. These two numbers should match. If a voter presents their receipt but indicates they would like to use the ballot marking device, notify your head judge. Blank ballot stock will be issued to the voter, and your head judge will help the voter begin using the device. A voter can spoil a ballot and receive a new one for any reason at any time before it is counted. Voters wishing to spoil their ballot should be directed to the ballot judge. Instruct the voter to place the spoiled ballot into the spoiled ballot envelope before they receive replacement. Spoiling a ballot and issuing a replacement does not need to be recorded on the election day journal. However, if a ballot is found abandoned in a voting booth, it should be spoiled and recorded in the journal since the number of ballot receipts will be higher than the number of ballots cast. During the close of polls, this information is important for the head judge to note on the pink statistics sheet. If a ballot is left in or on the ballot counter, it should be counted. Two judges of different political parties should cast the ballot through the ballot counter. After the close of polls, Audit the ballots in your polling place by completing the rest of the polling place ballots certification form. The goal of this audit is to show that the number of ballots at the end of voting matches the number delivered to your polling place. Two judges should complete this form. Record the number of ballots cast through the ballot counter. Next, count the number of spoiled ballots and duplicated ballots. Count the number of sealed ballots remaining, assuming each pack has exactly 50 ballots. Then count the number of unsealed ballots. Total these numbers together. Only the voted ballots should be placed in the ballot transfer case. All unused ballots, even if they have the judge's initials, should be placed in the green supply box.